So hello, my name is Julia Dreblow and I'm going to talk you through very briefly what the area is that we refer to as SRI. SRI is an umbrella name for a group of fund options that are variously referred to as sustainable and responsible investment or socially responsible investment. I encourage people not to get too hung up on the exact title. The important thing to recognise is it's an umbrella term that really includes a number of different strategies. And within that, there are funds that focus on environmental, social and ethical issues, as well as ESG and impact investment and other groups that sit really within that. In this area at the moment, there's no required standards to meet if you are going to label a fund as being ethical or sustainable or SRI or ESG. However, this may change. There are groups in the EU, there's the IA, there's BSI, there's others looking at this. So that may change over time, but at present, it's down to the fund manager to decide if their fund fits within this area. This slide is just a very broad overview of what these funds include and what they cover. Essentially, there's a really wide range of areas and within each of these is many, many subgroups. Ethical, social, environmental and governance issues each have many different aspects. They're multifaceted. Approaches also can vary differently, but if you boil them down, they essentially come down to three main areas. One is that you can avoid different companies or different areas or activities. Another is that you can support or encourage or have a theme that runs along a particular line. And the third strategy is that you can aim to focus on influencing, engaging with, and basically encouraging positive change in companies through responsible ownership and stewardship strategies. So those three strands are avoidance, supporting, and influencing. And as I say, there are many different groups that fit within those. This next slide then comes on to giving you some of the examples as to how this works. And we've got examples of environmental, social, and governance and ethical issues that you can select from on the Fund Eco Market tool. But these are just a few examples. So different funds will focus on different areas. And then their approaches will vary too. So some funds may look at an environmental issue and say we want to avoid certain companies. Others will say no, we want to positively select or favour companies with positive strategies. Some will focus on impact and maybe measuring the outcomes and benefits of their stock selection decisions. Others may not. Some will be investing in larger companies, some will focus or specialise on smaller companies. So with regard to influencing companies, what this essentially breaks down to is looking at what the fund management company does behind the scenes. And indicators of how this works can be in areas such as the resources they employ. Do they carry out this work in-house? Do they work through other organisations or perhaps collaborating with organisations that focus on encouraging positive change? Do they think about things like voting their shares at AGMs? Are they having meetings with companies to say that they think a company should make a particular change in order to help bring about positive environmental or social outcomes? So I hope the key takeaway you'll have got from this then is that the strategies that sit within the umbrella term of SRI are diverse and dynamic. Some will be focusing on ESG issues and perhaps risk mitigation. Others will be focusing on perhaps engagement. Some will be focusing on selecting solutions companies that are helping to affect positive change. At the heart of this though is the fact that clients' views are very, very different. Both their opinions on different issues and their financial objectives. And fund managers offer solutions that aim to meet those different needs. Also, risks and opportunities are not static. We're increasingly aware of the risk of issues such as climate change, and funds are increasingly responding to this. Groups such as the TCFD and following the Paris Climate Accord are all focused on shifting the way business behaves, and fund managers are responding accordingly, as are regulators. And legislation and regulation is increasingly part of the landscape of SRI now, with people focusing on how companies are responding to change as it's happening and what their strategies are for managing it looking forwards, given that things will no doubt continue to change. Thank you for listening.